Hey, Rob Gill, Rob Gill Tea Channel. Today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about how values changed on property in Cape Town, uh, particularly in Bloberg and uh, the Big Bay West Beach areas in Cape Town, including the Parkers North area. Actually, what I've done, I've taken a house that was for sale a year, a year and a half ago at 4 million Rand, okay? And I've taken an old video tour. You might find that it's not as exciting as the ones we've got these days. We're much more exciting now, but okay, just watch it and just see what this property looks like, okay? And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what it's worth now because the value's dropped. So take a look at this and see what you think. And if you look over here, we've got actually got our pool down there on the north side and our entertainment area. Uh, we're very close to all the amenities, all the shops, my city bus routes. Um, we've got shopping centers all the way down behind us, which you can use, but you're in one of the quietest streets in the area. Nothing happening here that, that can make a noise, nice and peaceful. We've got loads of security. We've got security cameras. We've got the electric fence all around, and we've got beams and, and alarm inside the house. With that, let's go inside, and let's go and have a look at what we've got for you inside here. So as you come in the front door into this amazing, beautiful house, you can see the quality finishes here in the entrance hall. We've got a storage space under the stairs. I always call it a TARDIS. It can stack more in the inside. Well, it's bigger on the inside than it looks. On the left there, you've got the stairs. You've got the stairs going up to the second floor. And if you go to the right down here, we're going towards the living areas and the kitchen and the entertainment areas. As you come in, the first thing you get on the right hand side is the office. Very useful part of the house. As you can see, it's got all the furniture in for the office and uh, can be used as anything else as well. It can be used as a kind of a, a a pub or a, another bedroom whatever you like but in this case it's used as the office for the house perfect situation if you come out of here we go back into the living areas so as we come out of the office we come into the living areas on the left the kitchen on the right the dining room and living areas entertainment area lounge over there behind you okay hey take note of this kitchen this kitchen is absolutely stunning um, marvelous kitchen in this very grand home okay so you can see why maybe we were selling it for four million rand it's in Parthens north uh, which is part of the greater Bloberg area it's one of the newer areas it was a big double story house really really cool large as well way over 300 square meters <coughs> four bedrooms so take a look at this see what you think it's it's really cool as we go into the kitchen and see there's the scullery on the left with your washing up areas and uh, washing machines etc and as you come into the kitchen you can see the high quality of the finishes i mean if you can see the floor the floor has got high quality tiles this is imported granite that's on the countertops all the way around the walls are tiled all the way to the top all the way to the roof with high quality tiles you've got your eye level oven whirlpool not smeg like everyone else this is actually a very high quality oven and hob then you've got, as you can see, high quality finish on the cupboards. And uh, the cupboards are more than ample all the way around the kitchen, all the way to the roof. The house is connected with fiber. The fiber's up there. Okay. You've got space for the double door fridge, your wine racks, everything uh, included here. So that's enough about the kitchen. Hope you didn't find that too boring. It's all good. Okay, so let's get on with the rest of it and let's see what the rest of this house looks like. And there's a bedroom on the left here, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's go through to the lounge. You can see we've got this amazing entertainment area. These doors all fold out. So you've got two huge open spaces, lots of fresh air coming into the house. Um, you can use the uh, braai area, the pool and the lounge and everything together as one. Um, in the lounge, you've got a... TV is fitted on the wall, and as you can see, the sound bars at the bottom there, they're all staying. So as you can see, the sound bars were really important to this client. They were right through the house. Every room had a TV and a big sound bar in it, all connected up in the house. So you could play the sound through those sound systems. It's immense. It was a really top, top-notch sound system. And uh, all the wiring is connected up behind so you don't see anything. You've also got a fireplace in the lounge, a really nice fireplace. This is a spacious lounge. Um, the swimming pool is fed by well water. This house is fed by well water, so you can 
water the lawns, fill up the pools, and it's great in the water restrictions at the moment. Um, there's another bedroom on the side here, which I'd like to show you guys. Uh, it can be used for mum, it can be used for the grown-up son, as it is in this case. It's got its own bathroom en suite, and it's separate from the rest of the house. Let's go and have a look at it. Okay, so as you go into the bedroom, you've got your bathroom, toilet on the left here. And just a straightforward bedroom, cupboards here, and a little bedroom that you can use for whatever you like, as I said. So, with that, let's go upstairs. Gosh, why did I show you that bedroom? Hey, upstairs we go. Let's go and have a look at this grand main bedroom. And uh, it's, it's really fantastic. And there's a couple of other bedrooms up there as well. Nice bathroom security system up there, the whole works. Let's go check that out. Right, so as we come up the stairs here, you can see we've got the most amazing chandelier and a beautiful view out the window from the stairs. We walk up the stairs and you've got on your left here a little kitchenette so in the morning when you get up you don't have to go all the way down to the kitchen to make a nice little cup of coffee or tea it's right here for you on the right here we've got the bathroom full bathroom two bedrooms left and right and we've got the main bedroom straight ahead all right so you've got your second bedrooms and third bedrooms they're a mirror image of each other it's pretty much the same a standard, lots of cupboard space, a couple of drawers, fits a double bed. Beautiful views out the window. You're on the second floor. TVs are all connected in. And uh, that's all I can say about a bedroom. As we go into the main bedroom, the toast of the house. As you can see, it's really spacious and beautiful. You've got your security screens up there. Because as we mentioned, this house has got security all around. It's got security cameras as well. So if you feel insecure, you've got the ability to look at that and make sure no one's coming in, but nobody ever does in this area anyway. You've got your TV on the wall, same as everywhere else in the house. The bars stay with the, with the wires behind the wall, so you can't see them. If you look behind you, you can see you've got the most amazing cupboard space and dressing room area. Then you've got your bathroom over there, the full bathroom again en suite. And with that said, I think let's go outside and have a look around. So on the outside area, at the back, we've got another room and it's being used as a photo studio at the moment, as you can see. But it can be used as a spare room, a guest room, a domestic room, whatever you prefer. Uh, there's a bathroom behind that curtain over there, full bathroom which can be used. So effectively, it's a bedroom with an ensuite next to it. That's, uh, that go leads out into the back area. Uh, you've got your garage over there and your washing area and that type of thing. Hey, so that's the house. Smash it. Big, lovely home. Um, so you can see why it was formerly ran last year or the year before. But um, what's my valuation? And this is something that I think we should really have some fun discussing. Leave some comments below and, and, and tell me what you think of this. Because at, uh, <clears throat> at 4 million Rand, it's not going to go right now, it's not going to swing. So, my valuation, we're looking at around about, I mean, the guy contacted me and said, will you sell my house again? I said, 4 million Rand, not going to happen. So, I'm looking at around 3.2 million Rand, and he's not even prepared to sell it at 3.5. So, this client is leaving the area and that makes a huge difference to why he would sell or not sell. So he's decided I ain't selling, I'm keeping the house. He would actually rather rent it out and hold on to it or just keep it. Um, yeah, it's much of a muchness, you know, you're in that market now and, and markets move up and down. And like I've said before, this is just a correction. It's not a crash or anything like that. It's not the end of the world. It's not doomsday, but when you start taking 10, 20% off, off huge amounts like four or five million rand, 10 million, 20 million, the amounts look a lot, they look large and, and it scares people. So people are worried, but you shouldn't be. It's just a correction, we're just going through that process. But like I say, that home in my opinion has now dropped to around 3.2 million rand and it would be a great buy. But 
the seller doesn't want to sell it anymore and that tells me a story that tells me if sellers are starting to pull out of selling we're getting to that very fine point <clears throat> where there's not going to be stock available so we've got to be careful at this point it's starting to tell me things are cheap so leave me comments let me say and let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and uh, instagram it all comes down don't forget to follow me there and thanks for watching the video until next time cheers